hello friends welcome back today we are going to see how to flash the hex file into the Arduino board without using Arduino ID here we are going to use three programming utilities to flash the code in the Arduino board first utility is AVR dude s this is a graphical user interface for the AVR dude this tool you can download from this address I have attached the link in the description for this tool. Go through the web page to get more information regarding this tool. You can download the setup file from here or you can download the portable zip file from here. Download the setup file and get this tool installed onto your onto your computer. Next tool is a tool from Freematics that is the Freematic builder. You can download the latest release from here. This is the URL address for Prematic Builder which I have specified in the description. Third tool we are going to use is Xloader which you can download from this GitHub page. This is the URL for this GitHub page. Go through the information given on this GitHub page. Now first we are going to see how to create the hex file for the Arduino board. So for that purpose just open the Arduino ID. Now click here on the file. Go to examples then to basics then click here on blink. This file contains the code for blinking of the LED. So here the LED blinks every 1000 millisecond or one second. Go to tools then select the board. I have selected Arduino Uno because I am using the Arduino Uno board. Now go to the file click here on save as we are going to save this file into the folder that is hex file download and I am going to give the name as blink blank and going to save this file in this file I am going to comment this code because I don't want to blink the LED when I flash the hex file for this code now go to sketch click here on export compiled binary so sketch is getting compiled you can see here blink blank folder has been created so compiling is done let us visit the folder again now you can see hex files are generated this is the boat loader hex file this is the hex file related to actual code so before start flashing the code we are going to see the hardware setup this is my Arduino Uno board we are going to flash the hex file using this regular connector through the USB port of the Arduino board and next time we are going to use this connector that is e USB to serial connector so open AVR Dudes. first select the programmer I am going to select it as Arduino then select the port to which the Arduino board is connected for me it is COM5 I have set the baud rate as 115200 click here to load the file which you want to flash into the Arduino board I am going to select the hex file in this folder. Now here you can see already the folders are ready for the blink 100 that is blink 100, blink 1000 and blink to 5000. Blink 100 means the here the DLA set is 100 millisecond and in blink 1000 here the DLA set is 1000 millisecond or 1 second and in the third folder that is blink 5000 where the delay set is 5000 or 5 second this is the rate at which the LED blinks I am going to select the file from the blink 100 so select this file click here on open so now we are ready to write the file into the Arduino board but before that just here you need to select the MCU at mega 328p which I am using right now we will just detect the CPU so CPU has been detected 
here you can see it is at mega 328p the file is ready we are not going to disturb this fuses and log bits of course we can read it by clicking over here all the values here are zero so now we are going to flash the code into the Arduino board just for that purpose click here on program now you can see the hex file has been downloaded or flashed into the Arduino board and you can see the LED on the Arduino board has starting has started flashing at the rate of 100 millisecond this is the fast blinking we have flashed the code using the AVR due dates now we are going to flash the other code that is from this folder that is blink blank we are going to select this file the file has been selected now we are going to use the USB to serial converter now I have removed the cable connected to this port now we are going to use now the USB to serial converter which is connected to the USB port of the PC you can also see the wires landing on the Arduino board so we will see the connection diagram for this so this is the connection diagram for the wiring which is used between the USB to serial connector and the Arduino Uno board I have connected here 10 microfarad capacitor between the DTR and the reset pin here the 0.1 microfarad is sufficient 0.1 or 104 disk capacitor is sufficient so now file is loaded now let us flash the code that is the blink blank means if we flash this code the flashing of LED should stop now click here on the program now you can see here some error has occurred which is saying can't open the device we have selected COM5 let us go to the device manager check here the COM port COM5 has been changed to COM6 with the new USB to serial connector so we are going to select the COM6 so select COM6 port over here so now we are ready with the code and let us flash the code using the new connector that is USB to serial connector now click here on the program now you can see hex file has been flashed into the Arduino board and the flashing of the LED is stopped with this utility you can also read the file from the Arduino board you have to you will have to select read over here at the same time you can read the contents of the EEPROM and you can also write the contents of the EEPROM using this utility so this is the graphical user interface for Freematics Builder select the target as Freematics 1 that is at mega 328p click here on load code slash binary now we are going to select the hex file from this folder that is blink 1000 so select this hex file tick this checkbox that is verify uploading click here on refresh now the on the Arduino board you can see no LED is flashing so with this when we flash this code when we flash this hex file into this Arduino board then we should see the flashing rate as one second file has already been loaded just click here on COM6 so uploading is in progress and code has been successfully uploaded and now you can see the blinking of the LED has started and flashing rate is one second we have successfully flashed the hex file using the free matrix builder now we will move to the next utility that is Xloader Xloader is a small application select the hex file by clicking over here now we are going to select the hex file from this folder that is blink 5000 select this file select device as at mega you know 
328. COM port is selected as COM6 and baud rate is 115200. Now we are ready to upload the code. When we flash this code, the LED should blink at the slower rate that is at the rate of 5 seconds. So click here on upload. So uploading has started. So code has been flashed into the Arduino board. Now you can see the LED has started flashing at this lower rate that is 5 seconds. Last thing we are going to see is how to flash the code into the Arduino board using the USB to serial converter because we are not using here the regular port that is port connected to the USB of the Arduino board and we are going to use this port that is USB to serial converter we will comment this code again in the blink application now click here on the tools select the board and select the programmer as Arduino ISP now everything is set now click here on sketch click upload if this code gets loaded into the Arduino board then LED should not flash so compiling has started now code has been compiled and uploading has been done now you can see LED on the Arduino board has stopped flashing and code has been uploaded successfully using the USB to serial converter we have not used the regular USB port to flash the code into the Arduino board. So in today's video we have seen how to flash the hex file into the Arduino board using the three utilities. So that's it for the day. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video then please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again and have a good time.